So I've been reading the Chronicles of Coram, and this is a sort of like an Eternal Champions book, similar to Elric, the, the Elric Saga, and this is more of a different character. He is also an Eternal Champion, but the story is different and the, the character is different. So this I've had for a while, and this is awesome. <clears throat> this is like the th the the three books of the second series, the sequel to the Swords trilogies. So I love this cover, actually, if you guys want to check it out. That is an illustration of Coram on his, on his horse. The thing about these books here, even though they're really cool, and this is the kind of like, these are awesome books that, that I mean, it's, it's a nice book. It's got three books in one, so there's actually three books in here. But um, it looks like one book, you know, because Michael Moorcock makes very, very thin books, which I love because the stories are really, really thin. So, but this is not the first series, and you can't read these until you read the first series, which are these. This is King of Swords, and that's got a really cool, also a really cool illustration. This is the third book of the first series, and this is the first book of the first of the first series. And this is the Knight of Swords, Quorum Book One. Okay, so I've got Quorum Book One. I've got Book Three, the King of Swords. I don't have the Queen of Swords because I didn't know whether I was going to wait till I ended finish this one before buying it. This is the latest one that came out a few years ago. This came out a while ago. I got this at a used bookshop. I found it. I was like, yes. And this when this came out, it was seventy five cents. Will you believe that? These things used to be 75 cents. The year it came out, I don't even know, but it's like in here somewhere. And <clears throat> and I think this says property of the New York Public Library. So somebody sold it to a used bookshop. <laughs> and it I don't know, it's got... So, so the year it came out, <clears throat> it looks like it says 75 cents or whatever. I don't even know. Yeah, it's a 75 cents, but it doesn't say what year this is. Oh, here we go. 1971, Michael Moorcock. This is awesome, awesome, awesome. And yeah, so basically the books are this thin. They're this small, and the writings are just regular. But um, this is the larger one. This is a bigger book, and the writings are just bigger. Actually, I don't know why they went. Like, they had a cool illustrator here. They had a cool illustrator here. So what happened to the illustrator here? Come on, guys. So I think this is just, oh, here we go. In the back, you will see the other illustrated books. You will see this is Queen of Swords, King of Swords. This is the new ones. They look like that. And it's just got like a gauntlet and the eye. I'm like, come on, you know. It, it does have uh, some cool, sh uh, cool stuff by Michael Chabon, which is he's pretty well known. And it says the greatest writer, Michael Chabon says this about uh, Michael Moorcock. They're both Michaels, so Michael's got to stick together. Uh, the greatest writer of post-Tolkien post British fantasy. I personally love Moorcock way more than, than the Tolkien books. They're legit books. They're really good. I, I read almost all of them, but it, they don't resonate with me. The movies don't resonate with me uh, that much, but... I, I don't know, I just like the main character more. I, I thought, I think Elric is more badass. Eternal Champions is really badass. Just, that's just me. It's not like the, the books are bad. You also have uh, some, some quotes here by Neil Gaiman and stuff, who I know who that is. Angela Carter, don't really know her. Uh, I'm not going to mention it. There's like Washington Post, whatever. Like, but uh, Neil Gaiman says, Michael Moorcock transcends cool. He is beyond any need for cool. Neil Gaiman did say that Moorcock was one of the people that 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 um, actually motivated him to uh, continue to take up writing. He wanted to be a writer after reading a lot of Elric and all of these books. So, what do these things do? I, I love this one. This is just, but this you can't read this one until you've read those. You know. So, so what? What is the story of this guy? Well, basically, I started reading it. And honestly, I put it down a little bit. I mean, I'm going to pick it back up and read more of it, of course, because everyone says how great the story is. But um, the thing about it is it's violent as hell. 
It's really, really, really violent. It's really violent. But I think the point of it being violent, it's just the beginning of it is violent. Maybe, who knows? But they, it's not like violent for no reason. There's these like, um, there's these like, sort of like these, these people from, from different societies. They're kind of human. They're kind of not human. They're kind of weird. Like they're not exactly human, but a humanoid, uh, you know, and they have got these civilizations and they've got these weird names. Like, um, they're hard to actually remember. Like there's, there's some weird names, like for example, um, their names are all over the first ones and forums and quorums and all these weird freaking names like here we go the shifan how the den led hisi servants of okay glan dith akre i mean i mean king lear abroad these words are prince quorum sign thank you mabden i mean the the way what, what the names of these like they're just hard to like under they're just hard to pronounce um so they're just kind of hard to read because when you read it you kind of pronounce it like she fan how like what it, what the hell so and then it just goes on and then like here goes the margravine of alo mig like like legit this is like alo miglil this is like look and here we go. Let me just show you some of this. Allo me. What the hell is that? How do you even read that? That's not, it means more vowels. I mean, come on. Um, so, I mean, but actually it's, it's going to be good. I know it's going to be good. It's Michael Moorcock. So it's real violent, but I think the whole point of the violence is that um, he's just telling you basically how evil these these people are basically he was a knight he was a you know he's on a horse he's a knight whatever and he's for these good people um these good civilizations these these people that are doing the right thing and they're against these other ones that just like they they you know they'll destroy whole villages they'll they'll you know take everyone and kill everyone and it's horrible what they do to them and so what what um so he gets basically Coram gets in the you know in in the beginning of the book he gets um captured by these guys and they kick his ass they the the whole point of like the the, the whole the hand and the eye they just they they kick his ass and uh somehow he gets out of there and that's kind of how the story begins um he does find like these magic uh he's look he he finds these magic uh weapons um which is a gauntlet and an eye. And um, it's sort of like Elric finding Stormbringer or any of, or, or the Rune Staff with Hawk, with Hawk, Hawk Moon and the Rune Staff or like Count Brass and all that stuff. Um, so basically that's what that is. It's way more violent than Elric. Elric is pretty violent, you know, when they describe like, you know, how violent the Mel Nubonaeans are, how violent are the, some of the, enemies of the Mel Nubonaeans, how violent, like all of these, like he comes across uh, against these like horrible, horrible, oppressive wizards and you know, these, these rulers and kings that have wield great magic and they basically, they're evil as hell. But um, he actually tries to do like the right thing and basically he goes on his adventure. He's not like, um, he's a little bit different because what I like about <clears throat> Moorcock's books is He's a little bit different. He's not, see like all of the eternal champions have a different personality. So they're basically the diff, they're, they're the same thing. It's the same story basically, but all of a sudden, like every, the story is completely different. They're, they're the only one thing that, that keeps these, um, that keeps the whole story together is that they are basically eternal champions. They are the same, they're different incarnations of the same person, the same being who lives multidimensionally. And he's Elric and he's Coram and he's um, Hawk Moon. And he's all of these, these, these characters and he's a lot of the other <clears throat> aspects of the eternal champion and stuff like that. So th this is what I love about it. It's the same, it's the same author, but any of these books are just so cool because now the main character is different. 
now the stories are different. The lands they're from are, are different. He's not going to react the same way as Elric. He's not going to talk the same way as Elric. He's a completely original character, but he ties into the main story, and the main story is the various aspects of the um, Eternal Champion, the various Eternal Champions that exist on different planes. So what they do is basically, it's basically it's one story with a lot of different parts of it. Basically, um, Moorcock creates this world and creates the Eternal Champion, and that's pretty much how this world is. They've got these like reigning deities, these gods that they that always help the the main characters and all this magic that is wielded and they have to fight against it, they, these these enchanted weapons in this world. And and what ties them together is that concept of they are basically the same person. Like for example, there's not just the Eternal Champion is not just on all of these different planes of existence, they're also on modern day Earth, there's eternal champions. Um, and there's stories about that, you know. So so basically what I love to do, what what he did was he created this world, this what they call it is the um he created this multiverse, like instead of a universe, like a multiverse with different universes, multiple universes, where all of these were like everything is different. The magic is different, the the heroes are different, the spells are different, the the some of them are kings, some of them are knights, some of them are just like people. Um, and everything is like, ev so every story, every character, he'll go into one character and do like six books about that one character. And then he'll change to a different character. And I think it works really, really well that after like six or like Elric went on for several more books than six, I seven or eight, nine books, and there's more. Um, there's so many books with, with Elric because you can just keep writing Elric. Everyone loves Elric, so everyone just like reads Elric all the time. They buy them. They buy Elric and stuff like that. Um, and so what it is is that, um, so, so, but then, you know, how much can you write about Elric? Let's change the character. Let's change the world. Let's change all of the, the let's just change the story. They're the same, the root of them, uh, they're the same character, but everything is different. The character is different. The fact that they're just this eternal champion is like even not even the main point of the books. The main point of the books is who they are individually, what their stories are, what you know, what their adventures are, what their quests are, everything like that. So anything, any of these eternal champion books are freaking amazing. This was 1971. The second series came out, and I mean, when this came out, this was also I think this is this is 350. You know how much this was? 350. Um, and you could see that there's like tons. Yeah. So the, there's the Chronicles. They also talk about, uh, the Chronicles of Count Brass. So there's like Count Brass is another one and stuff like that. So whenever you get one of these books, you can pretty much go into it. And there's other books that they, he wrote, he wrote so many of these books and the, the year, this is 1978 for the second one, 1971, I think for the first one. So yeah. So these were freaking amazing um so check it out these are awesome if you've read these let me know what you thought of them and check these out like if you have any comments if you have anything you want to say leave it in the comments and please like and subscribe because i do these videos and yeah so let me know um this was awesome really really love anything he writes and i've only heard great things about chronicles of quorum so Check out Chronicles Quorum and have a great day, guys. And just let me know what you think and leave some comments and I'll talk to you later.